Hello peeps, Dogger there, welcome back to another episode of Starmate from the Star Squadron server of course and we are continuing our build. Now, um, last time or I said that interior would be one of the next steps. Well, um, in the meantime, the rail system came along and I was updating stuff to, you know, you see, new system. So basically this is my way of doing docking modules and I'm still going to put them on all the ships. But um, regarding our build, the next thing I really, really, really want to do is bring this build forward and yeah, basically to update this baby somewhere soonish, what we need is redoing those uh, turrets and gladly our um, new build also has these turrets here on top like there I marked it out and I was busy already Sorry, I could not help myself and I was just, you know, tinkering along, but I couldn't record. So, um, I just said, well, well, screw it, you know, just leave it in a state where you can actually explain what you did uh, before you basically just, um, you know, put everything together finally. So, what do we have here? Uh, well, as you might know from last episode, those turrets had the special function of feeding the ship with the power the missile, uh, you know, missiles would need every 45 seconds uh, to shoot and, um, yeah, basically use the ship as power tank and generating the energy over time, giving it to the ship and then pulling from the ship uh, when the turret fires. Um, what we did here, because we don't have to do any shields, we don't have to do anything else, I basically, that's, that's the same, uh, 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 go away, that's the same um, size of plot, as you can see, here is still the outline, but um, of course we had to make it roundish because the new turrets, you know, they like turn on one axis and then they are like going then and then on the other axis. So um, I thought, well, we use the body for power generation. And I set up this thing here. Now this thing um, is a bit of piece of art because you can see um, there is this, um, there is the docker core and, and a cam to, you know, look down and uh, make it more easy to dock later. I mean, that thing will be connect, no, that thing will be connected to that thing, so you won't have to dock these, because I'll just save this as blueprint, so I can, you know, uh, spawn them and such. And this energy line, you might think um, those two are not uh, going together. They do. They just hop over the docker and on the top uh, those going that way, you know, and on the bottom those going that way and then basically they are just connected at one spot. So, yeah, maybe I should do a little rebuild quickly. Yeah, let, let's do that. Here is the, the docking thing. Points forward, look good.
to connect those, you need to unset these. And then what I did was connect this here, connect this there, connect this here, connect this there. Now you can see all of them have like this broad one smaller side, three high, and then going all the way through the turret. Now this thing generates 1600 something. What I did as well was I then filled up, you know, the, the power supply beams and they are sitting like here in between. Uh, how could we? Yeah, I'm using um, the thruster module. And then basically what I did was adding additional power like so. So those, this, sorry, this power block does not attach to any as well. Here and there, and there. So those are single blocks. If you are done with that, you are at So that's what I did. Now let's have a look at this thing because those studs are really interesting. So if you watch the power consumption, that goes down to a few hundred right and then goes back up to 50k actually i figured out that working around the 17k ish mark means um it will run uh, optimum like it uses the entire 50k storage the reactors provide by themselves and then basically drains them over the period when the beam is doing the power transfer and reloads it the rest of the time. This does take 17k100 per tick from the turret body and provides the ship with 13k680. This is, you remember maybe um, the scimitar, the old turrets did 8400. Now we top that by quite a big margin, like 5k on top of that, right? This means the turret itself can be a bit more powerful. I, um, you know, I put in all the modules and then I noticed that I forgot to link some to the computer and then like the, like the support did not work out. For example, like the secondary had way more modules placed because I forgot to link them in between. So I didn't recognize that, yada, yada, yada. And once I figured that out, I noticed there's too much space left, so I could add more. And um, when, you know, one led to the other, and in the end, I decided to do the entire thing fresh with you guys. And finally, I know like how many modules we should place, because the latest issue was that the entire turret would use more energy than it actually provides to the ship. So that's not a good thing. Yeah, you know, <laughs> uh, because it was supposed to be the other way around. So um, I then said, yeah, screw this. I'm going to armor this a bit better. We'll continue on from there. So let me quickly just also add some more protection here issue is um that's the front of the turret right but uh, we will be firing upwards but that's not the thing that side will face the enemy and i don't want the enemy to be shooting at that thing or here uh, like once the shields are gone i still want this thing to have sustain a little you know be a little bit longer firing <laughs> Because that could actually, you know, that could make a difference.
You are a sick turret, I can tell. Now, let's check how much damage does this thing. So, firing two, and each does 26.3k using a uh, calculator. Come on. So, 263250 times 2. That's the damage it needs, and then we need to subtract from. No, that's the energy it needs, and then we need to subtract 13200 times 45. Okay, that is basically the excess energy we give the ship. Mm, that's okay. Well, it's not that big. Um, that's again 1,500. <laughs> like before. Um, like with the old turrets. But um, these turrets are more beefy. <laughs> I really have a pack a punch here. Okay, so we need to put everything together, I guess. And uh, Bobby AI is present. I think we can, yeah, we think still can go in there and look at this. Yeah, let's try to Okay, we are selecting that beam thing, and then go like, nope, go like, where are you? There we go. All right. Now get out of here. We still need to do the top. I'll do that at a later point. But for now, I just want the thing to dock, just for once, because this will be also end of this episode, but that will be the real test, you know. Okay, so, Galactic Norse, we got that. Go to the lower camera, and then activate beam. No, uh, damn it. Mm, up, up and over. Up and over. Oh, wow, heavy. Heavy. Actually, you need... You need... Wait. Let me quickly... You got energy, right? So I want you to have a... I want you to have a... Do you have place for this? Sure we have. Like here. Do I like this spot? Ah, uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, looks good. So now we, we have thrust. So this should become a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's way better. Okay, nine. Beam. No. Up. Up, beam, and docked. There we go. And now let's hop out of that thing. <laughs> Sexy. Yeah, we. I'm going to lower these again. It's just, you know, for now. And now we can get in here. Uh, no, we cannot. But we could select this and then do the admin thing. And we see nothing. But we can turn. Like, let me show you. Like, turn, 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 turn. And that was quite difficult to figure out the shape of the turret. So let me, let's uh, face Galactic Norse. So let's get down like to this angle. And then let's get over to like 
45 degrees. And thingy mode. Okay, so you see our turret best lit up, right? So it really sits in here, facing like downward, somewhere there ish. And um, the uh, missiles would come out like this. And it can pretty much turn all the way. So, yeah. Let's uh, go further. And you see. Maybe a steeper angle, you might say. Yeah, sure. Let's give it a... That should be the maximum. Yeah, that is pretty much... Now it has this, like, 45 degree angle downward. A little bit more. It's a little bit more. Uh, let's quickly check. Yeah, this is... But only in this position a vulnerable spot. But uh, yeah, the enemy the turret is facing is on the other side. So, can we still turn in here? Yeah, we can. Like, no problem. Bum, bum, bum. We can turn on this angle as well. We can turn on any angle. Up. Oh, where am I? Get up. Now we are facing upwards, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're facing upwards. And also, yeah, the um, thing is, you need to really check this out because um, these shapes here, down here, these cut corners, um, they had to go because otherwise in a... Um, position like so and then to a certain degree um, if this corner would not had gone it would now you know I, you know bump into the wall um, that is possible still but um, I mean no not with the shape we have meanwhile but um, you need really check these out to make that all fit okay so um yeah we basically did the um functional part of the turret i will complete this and uh give it some looks here on the top and until then uh yeah thanks for watching please leave a like if you liked it see you next time bye guys <laughs>